Since rolling out in 1983, G-Shock watches have become synonymous with the term tough. The brand is the most iconic name under the Casio watch banner and continues to garner a reputation for crafting sport watches that withstand the most rugged destinations from the bottom of the sea to the middle of the desert and beyond. You won't see it in the same circle as luxury watch brands like Breitling, Omega, Movado, and Tag Heuer. In fact, you'll find a lot of watches under $100. But that's not to say G-Shock hasn't made strides to be rugged and refined. The brand is making timepieces that look as good with an Armani suit as they do a wetsuit. We have listed the best G-Shock watches 2025, and there are key features you need to consider this to help you choose the best one for you. For more information on the product, as always, I've included a link in the description box down below, which are updated with the best prices on each product. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. Now let's get started. Number 6. Casio Men's GG 1001A5CR you don't have to be looking at, or even wearing, the Casio G-Shock GG 1001A5 Mudmaster to get a solid impression of its truly purpose-built design. Beyond its rather powerful proportions, I presume it is the five buttons that will stand out upon first interaction with the watch. The wide, easy-to-find, and press-checkered surface pushers feel confidence-inspiring in that you immediately are confident that they won't break if you use them underwater, when they are muddy, or if they endure a few hard knocks. The bulky bezel has a surprisingly soft, rubbery feel to it. It's a tough old sod of a material, so don't get fooled into thinking it will peel or dent easily. Strange as it may sound, to my eyes the exterior has a somewhat organic look to it, for its colors, touch, and looks. It's like an unusually tough bug that lives in the undergrowth and does unthinkably nasty stuff to its peers, or survives massive rocks falling on it. As I said, the thickness is beyond what anyone in their right mind would simply want to call considerable. Its 17.3 millimeters is somewhere beyond the implications of that word, a situation worsened by the protrusions on the bezel that have a tendency of getting caught on sleeves and other places. They are rugged all right, but make the GG1000 even more unlikely to slide under or out from under a sleeve. If you know you are, or expect to be, fine with tolerating thick watches, the GG1000 will reward you with excellent wearability in all other aspects. The integration of the straps combined with intelligently designed lugs and a flat case back means the watch will sit nice and flat on your wrist and won't wobble about. Number 5. Casio G-Shock GWM5610 Guan When you first take a look at the GWM5610 One, you probably won't be blown away by the design. It doesn't exactly scream luxury after all. But the point of the G-Shock isn't to drop jaws. It's to be a companion on your wrist that can survive anything you throw at it for years to come. And in its own way, the GWM56 Quant 1 is actually a pretty good-looking watch. The black resin case and bracelet coupled with the retro digital display make a very unique look that you won't find elsewhere in the watch world. Not to mention it's extremely comfortable to wear and highly legible too. On the subject of design, we can't forget that G-Shocks are probably the most durable watches on the planet. Seriously, people have driven their cars over these things and the tires ended up worse off. Couple this shock resistance with 200 meters of water resistance, and it's easy to see why this thing is regarded as one of the best go-anywhere timepieces in the world. The GWM56001 is powered by a quartz movement, but the way that it works is actually pretty interesting. Each watch will synchronize with radio time signals, which transmit the time measured by atomic clocks. With this tech, your watch will literally never be inaccurate. And even if you're unable to calibrate it at any time, it'll still only swing by around Paul Narcisse in 15 seconds per month. You also won't have to worry about the battery ever dying on you, as the movement is solar-powered and will convert energy from both natural and artificial sources of light. Number 4. Rangeman GW9400YJ1JF MIP display means memory and pixel. This type of display technology uses tiny memory chips to store and display information directly in each pixel. MIP displays are commonly used in small devices, such as smartwatches, fitness trackers, and other wearable devices. They offer several advantages over other display technologies, including lower power consumption, better visibility in bright sunlight, and lower cost. We can already see the MIP dominance in the sports watch segment. Casio has long denied this innovation. It seems to me that the Japanese have been too long sitting in their conservative tastes and have lost track of this moment. And now they do not keep up with the market and have to cooperate with Polar in the recent GBD H2000. In any case, the management has realized its fault, and it will be relatively easy for the company to enter this market with its vast watchmaking experience. Well, the future is for MIP, but I also see a future for the G-Shock with a traditional T and LCD display. The LCD watches are alive. Indicators move with an enormous speed. Milliseconds tracking is possible. And you observe each unit, not just the final result. You can use all kinds of fast-blinking scales, graphs, etc. 
What about hourly signal notification? Though they'll do it in MIP sometime. You should agree. It's a solid set of advantages to just forget about LCD. Apart from the list above, I appreciate the design of the main digits and additional dials. A great combination of readability and appearance. As you have probably already realized, the GW9400Y1 has it all. Number 3. Casio G-Shock. GW5000U1JF. Of course, everyone knows that a G-Shock does just about everything time-related. That's practical, at least. Some of the more task-specific models even boast depth or temperature sensors or compasses. The GW5000U1JF doesn't have any of that. What it does have that is most important to me is a world time function. The 3495 module within allows for five favorite times from various world cities, quickly available with one button press from the home screen. There are 48 cities to choose from, spanning a total of 31 time zones. That may seem a bit superfluous since there are only 24 hours in a day, but some time zones exist in the midpoint between hours. The world time function was the closer for me and ended my hunt for a dedicated mechanical world time watch. I was agonizing over adding yet another watch to my collection that would be single purpose, and a relatively quirky one at that. The GW5000U1JF is a veritable Swiss army knife. In the week I've owned it, I've found multiple uses for the stopwatch, timer, and alarm functions as well. And I've used the world time function more often than I thought I would already. I may be at serious risk of a one watch collection if I don't start wearing another watch soon. The GW5000U1JF thoroughly delivers functionality. I knew that it would from previous G-Shocks I've owned. But my tried and true workhorse, DW5600, while perfectly functional, lacked whatever it was that makes the experience of wearing a watch pleasurable. Yes, there's a sense of satisfaction in knowing that it is one model authorized by NASA for spaceflight, though not extravehicular activity. Number 2. Casio G-Shock GWGB1001AJF When Casio introduced the G-Shock Mudmaster series in 2015, it quickly became a popular line of adventurer's watches. This high-end Master of G-Series presented an instantly recognizable style and combined it with various functions to help you out during your toughest of adventures. Since its introduction, the Mudmaster has seen three different generations. We covered the three different generations of Mudmaster and showed the functional differences and how they stylistically evolved. Regarding the latter, the Mudmaster style is easy to recognize. The same is true of the new GWGB1000. Although it is the successor to the GWG1000 from 2015, it's too easy to say that it is a visually updated version with Bluetooth as an added functionality. No, the new model is much closer to the newer GWG2000, introduced in 2021. Maybe the best way to describe it is as a combination of both watches that adds plenty of style. Let's start with the exterior. The new Mudmaster GWGB1000. The case measures an impressive 52.1 mm wide, 58.7 mm long, and 16.2 mm thick. It makes the watch slightly smaller than the 54.4 x 61.2 x 16.1 mm case of the GWG2000. But as you will understand, we are talking about a big watch. Despite its size, the new Mudmaster weighs only 114 grams. It is 8 grams heavier than its more luxurious brother, which comes with a carbon bezel. Both watches feature a carbon core guard case made of carbon fiber reinforced resin. Unlike the GWG2000, this new Mudmaster uses bio-based resin for the case, bezel parts, and band. The bezel ring is made of stainless steel, and the bezel guards are placed on top. Number 1. G-Shock Rangeman GW9400 In my opinion, the Casio G-Shock GW9400 Rangeman is one of the most important Casio G-Shock models in a while, and is possibly the best Casio G-Shock watch available today. From a durability, functionality, and style perspective, this is one hard watch to beat. Will they get better in the future? Probably, but a modest investment will get you a fantastic do-anything watch for at least several more years. An easy way to understand a cornerstone feature of the Rangeman is that it is the first Casio G-Shock that includes the full stack of ABC sensor technology. ABC is an acronym often used to describe Casio's triple sensor technology that for many years you'd only find available in its Pro Trek, previously Pathfinder, collection of watches. Triple sensor meant that the watch contained an altimeter, barometer, and compass. It also happens to include a thermometer, which never seems to get included in triple sensor, but that is included as well. For several years, Casio had been experimenting with the inclusion of this sensor technology into Casio G-Shock watches. In fact, the GW9200 Rangeman is a follow-up to the GW9300 Mudman, and the GW9200 Riseman before it. Those previous models contained some, but not all of the triple sensor technology. The Rangeman has them all, and in a satisfying way that allows them to live within the, the durable G-Shock shell and still be easy to operate. A logical question is how the, the GW9400 and current Casio Pro Trek models compare to one another. That is a really good question, and there are, of course, differences. 
Having said that, more good news is that, from what I can tell, Casio included the version 3 triple sensor module into the GW.9400 Casio G-Shock watch. Released in 2013 as well, the triple sensor version 3 module was discussed a bit more right here. 